RBS Gogerburn is the Edinburgh HQ of the Royal Bank of Scotland and the host venue for the Scottish Edge Awards. It was established to support the development of new entrepreneurial activity within Scotland. I think 12 months on, it's been a tremendous success. It's encouraged and motivated a whole host of new entrepreneurs to emerge, to have confidence in their ideas and to bring these ideas forward. This is part of a, you know, a marketplace of support the government puts in place to make sure that new enterprising ideas can emerge, attract support and make a contribution to the Scottish economy. The Edge Fund competition is an opportunity for new Scottish businesses to pitch for thousands of pounds of investment in their new venture. In the last year, there's a big culmination of pulling the Edge Fund together. It's never reality. You've got 30 entrepreneurs getting up there for 750 grand. I love it. With only one chance to impress the judges and a fund of over £700,000 of investment on the line, the tension is high. It's been an intensive two and a half weeks of prep for me to, to get ready to do the pitch. For me it was about you know, knowing the numbers and nailing the numbers because it's always something that's emphasised to you but whenever you're on the spot you're just, your, your mind goes blank, you know. Hopefully it's all paid off. Yeah. <laughs> quite confident about the actual pitch itself, the three minutes, um, I know off by heart. I'm very anxious about all the questions that they could ask and even more anxious about the result at the end. For me it's the Q&A, um, you can polish the pitch but you never know what you're going to get with the Q&A so it's quite difficult to prepare for that. It's the questions, those, those are the unknowns, they could, they could throw in a few that you could just stumble. I've practised, I've pitched, I've prepared, I'm ready for this today. One of the entrepreneurs seeking investment from the Edge Fund is Ayrshire-based Craig Johnson, founder of Giglets Limited. It's a uh, really nerve-wracking experience. Obviously, you've got some really high-profile judges up there, but um, you know I feel well prepared. I've put the effort in, so hopefully it'll go okay. But uh, no question, it's nerve-wracking with the quality of judges and obviously the audience that's going to be there as well. We're in East Park, so spending a lot of time with our enabler and the team there, and yeah, just practice, practice the pitch. I think, you know, the pitch is, um, it's, you, you kind of go out there and you do it, but it's the questions, how to handle the questions and how to anticipate as much as possible what they're asking. That's the challenging bit, I guess, because they could ask ultimately anything. Remember those classic books, the likes of Shakespeare and Dickens, long and complicated, but containing some of the world's greatest and our stories? We would like £46,500 of edge to employ a software developer, a marketing specialist and an education... Thank you very much. That's Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. very nerve-wracking before you're going up, you know, you put so much time and energy into preparing for it. Um, it's 50 grand at the end of the day, it's going to have a huge life-changing impact on your business potentially, so yeah, it was, it was nerve-wracking, but I think that's what makes you perform at the end of the day. But I'll feel more relieved tonight if we win though. <laughs> Each entrepreneur is given three minutes to pitch, followed by an eight-minute grilling from Scotland's own dragons. Power up the next generation of travel. Any questions? Yes. We need your help to make a difference. Alphabet babies for thinking parents and clever babies. And create more jobs in Glasgow. Thank you very much. What's the plan for, for uh, expanding outside of uh, Scotland? And so, Kate said to was born. I've designed an edible bouquet which looks like you flowers. Each bouquet consists of 13 cupcakes and six chocolate leaves. I'm just interested in how, what the best method of using the edge fund money would be for you. But like having a mini power station in your home or office. Thousand babies born in UK each year, over 50% will show symptoms of food allergy or food intolerance. If it's uh, if successful, you would spend 5,000 on marketing. Yes. We're experiencing a true entrepreneurial renaissance, but there's something missing from this ecosystem, and that's workspace for growing businesses. What happens after a business incubator, and how does a business... Are there any benchmarks in terms of other products, and what they've sold, or are the retailers giving you any feedback on how many units they think they could sell? 
not about that. It's not about 50,000 fans in a football stadium either. It's about hundreds of thousands of disenfranchised fans. piece was, uh, I, I always personally struggle with that piece, but um, the bit I really enjoy is the q and I like being challenged on what we're doing. It's kind of a suspense time now, so um, I think the bottom line is that it's done now, so there's nothing there's nothing more to do apart from give the other guys support um, from, from eSpark and uh, just wait this evening to find out the results. I just want to know now, I mean, mm -hmm. the pressure's off, we've done the pitch, we can relax a little bit, but until we see the result and know if we've got any cash yeah. then... It's going to be nerve-wracking. Yeah. It's going to be a long wait. <laughs> I was absolutely terrified for a week before it. I've not slept. It's just been like the worst experience like before it. But after you've done it, it's just actually a brilliant feeling that you've went out of your comfort zone. You know everybody's just as nervous as you are, but yeah, it's been amazing. I think he absolutely nailed it. I think he answered the questions really well. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how it went. Although you're competing against other companies, you can't really compete against them because it's they're running different races because they're doing different things. So we just had to take care of our kind of side of things and do the best we could have done and yeah. I think we did. Now it's over and done with, you know, it's, you wait all day and it's 10 minutes and now it's a waiting game. It's actually a little bit more nervous now than it was actually before the pitch. It was quite an um, adrenaline rush, especially afterwards, you just kind of get a kind of post-pitch buzz, which is very strange, um, but I suppose it's just you're glad that it's over. Today's going fantastic, um, the pitching quality has been amazing, the Q&A has been really challenging for them. Um, I think somebody said that the judges know how to get to the nub of the business really quickly. And they're really nervous going into it, so it's really nice when they come out and they feel really elated to have done it. And it's such an accolade to even get to the final, let alone if they walk away with or without money. So yeah, we're just so ecstatic for them all. The way I often decide things is, would I give them my money? And there's two or three that yes I would, absolutely, but I'm keeping that to myself. The creation of the Edge Fund has helped plug a gap which was noticeable in Scotland and it's, it also can act as a lever to, to help these businesses secure additional funding, so in that context it's excellent. Thank you for awarding just over £704,000 to eighteen of the 30 finalists, with 11 of those finalists receiving the full amount requested. The IC Mobile Lab have been awarded so nervous that I was almost confused at first that it was going to be me and then it was just ecstaticness. I can nearly jump onto the stage and knock them over. <laughs> I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. I never slept last night. And I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> the maximum applied for forty-six thousand five hundred pounds. <laughs> absolutely delighted. Like fantastic result uh, for the company. We're going to make an absolute tremendous difference to how we can accelerate and move forward. We have Samanga Studios Limited, who wins a maximum amount applied for of forty-eight thousand five hundred pounds. Yeah, when we heard that it was us, we're over the moon. It's been an amazing team effort. Can do with my guys here, and um, it's been a it's been a great day for Samanga Studios. And it's been such a long journey, but really, really worth it because I've gained so much in confidence and, and learned so much along the way. So it's just been a fabulous time. It's been a great night. Uh, everybody who we've met before me you were know, brilliant businesses, and, and I just thought, oh my goodness, my goodness, is my name going to call it? Nah, then he says, some baby things. <laughs> <laughs> and I teared up, honestly, I totally teared up. I'm going to be going out there making profit, generating money and employing people that way. But I will say I'm going to have the best night's sleep tonight. <laughs> I think fantastic. I think the, you know, we've chosen wise. I think all the people who got the awards were, were the right businesses that deserved them. And I think we've left a bit of hope there for the people who, who didn't. You know, they can come back the next time. To see that Scotland is in this sort of shape, you know, when start up businesses, the quality of the pitches, the people who had a complete handle on their businesses. If I was that far ahead when I first started my business, I could have retired 15 years ago. Absolutely ecstatic, I couldn't believe it. They actually awarded me more money than I asked for. So I was completely over the moon, gobsmacked. I mean, you know, I really believe in what I'm doing anyway, but it's just that added backup that someone else believes in you as well and is prepared to do that for you. So yeah, completely 
so over, it's just so happy. <laughs> It's going to do an awful lot for us. It's going to help change what we do and it's going to help accelerate what we're doing. The competition was so tough tonight. I didn't think we were going to win. And then when he started to read out the description of the company, like, oh my God, the relief was unbelievable. It's, it's the first step to create something big. And it means so much for us to win this. It's fantastic. So, yeah, ecstatic. Kate Setter has won a maximum award of £50,000. I mean, there's not many chances you get in life to actually really change people's lives and, you know, give them the confidence to go off and do their passionate dream and build their business. The people change it, so they, they bring it to life in front of you. What the government has done here, money to small growing businesses, which they can take away and they can use as they see fit, is just absolutely fantastic. From over 200 entrants, only 30 advanced to pitch to the judges in the grand final. From those 30, 18 entrepreneurs were selected for Scottish Edge funding.